and the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has tested positive for coronavirus. He is self-isolating in Downing Street, but has said that he will continue to lead the government's response via video conference. Prime Minister Modi has uh, tweeted to Boris Johnson saying, Dear PM Boris Johnson, you're a fighter and you will overcome this challenge as well. Prayers for your good health and best wishes in ensuring a healthy United Kingdom. I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home. I'm self-isolating. And that's entirely the right thing to do. Uh, but be in no doubt that I can continue, uh, thanks to the wizardry of modern technology, to communicate with all my top team to lead the national fight back against coronavirus. I'm, I'm also in social isolation at home, and I was watching the TV when I heard, just as you heard about Boris Johnson, and it is very, very interesting that it shows to people that no one, no one is safe from the virus and everybody has to take care. We had Prince Charles being declared positive a day or so ago, and the Queen has isolated herself in Windsor Castle, and now Boris Johnson. Uh, and in the, already they conduct the cabinet meeting online. Uh, they, don't, they don't see each other in person. And so it is, it is quite a big change in life here, but everybody's obeying. I presume now that it has been found that Boris has uh, tested positive, they will test everybody in the cabinet uh, as soon as, you know, very quickly. They're taking all this thing very seriously. And I think it may turn out that one or two other people have it. Because, you know, this is such a peculiar thing. You may be, you know, four feet away, but sitting in the same room, you could easily pick it up. So I think we're just learning. The important thing is, no matter how important you are, you have to obey the order about social isolation. Just as of the last 24 hours in the United Kingdom, 100 people have tested positive. And I'd, I'd like to remind you that here in the United Kingdom, the NHS at the moment has the ability to only test the vulnerable lot, um, which includes people who are above 60 years of age, perhaps 65 years of age, or people who are below 18 years of age. So the people who are in their middle age, for instance, from, let's say, 20 to about 45 or so, many of them who are reporting symptoms of coronavirus are actually not being tested and are being advised uh, self-isolation. So it is very possible that there are a lot more people who may be infected by the virus, but have not been tested or that number has not added up to the official numbers. We are hearing that uh, at number 10, uh, Mr. Mr. Johnson is going to have a self-isolation uh, uh, routine from now on, and he is going to conduct meetings only via video conferencing. And the rest of the cabinet, including mainly Mr. Rishi Sonak, who is uh, the minister for uh, or the Chancellor for Exchequer, equivalent to India's finance minister, Rishi Sonak, son-in-law of Mr. Narayan Murthy, the founder, co-founder of Infosys, is also likely to be tested. Because remember, Mr. Boris Johnson, every evening was joint was jointly having a press conference with Rishi Sonak, with the chief of the NHS uh, here in the United Kingdom every evening at about 6.30. So all of these officials that he has been in touch with every single day, every evening to give live bulletins on the update on coronavirus and the new restrictions that the UK government was bringing out are likely to be tested in the next 24 hours.